We'll show here two examples on how to determine whether an equation defines a function. Let's recall that an equation in x and y defines y as a function of x, if it can be solved for y and the solution is unique. So let's look at the first equation. First equation is 3x plus 2y is equal 4. We'll solve for y, which means we'll have to subtract 3x from both sides and divide by 2. So y is 1 half 4 minus 3x. Here, if you choose any value of x, then you can multiply that x by 3, subtract from 4, and multiply by 1 half. And therefore, for every value of x, there is only one, and, there is only one value of y that is the solution of that equation. And therefore, this is a function. So the equation here defines a function. Let's look at the second equation, x squared plus y squared is equal 1. To solve this equation for y, we again isolate y, so we'll have y squared is equal 1 minus x squared. And since it's a quadratic equation in y, we take the square root, and therefore we'll have y equal plus or minus 1 minus x squared. This equation has a solution provided that 1 minus x squared is greater or equal zero because only then the radical is defined. So as you can see, this, this uh, equation has two solutions. One is plus radical, the other one is minus radical. So for some values of x, that equation will have two solutions. For example, if x is equal zero, then y is going to be plus or minus square root of 1 minus 0 squared, which is the square root of 1, it is plus or minus 1. So this, for x equals 0, there are two values of y, and therefore this contradicts the uh, definition of the function, and therefore we can say this is not a function, because the equation uh, had two solutions for some values of x.